you standing in a terminal suite in the RBI and you're saying goodbye to your son, I'll tell you what. Or your daughter, or anybody, it's your love. Yeah, wait till you're all next to that bed and you know that's the final 30 seconds. It could be you, mm -hmm. it could happen to you, it could happen oh. to anybody. I never thought it would happen. How we believe is that originally he was going to meet these people at a quarry and do what he would do, mess about the mud, just be young, be stupid and daft. The mistake Andrew made that day was he didn't meet them at the quarry, he met, met them somewhere, somebody's house or whatever, then got in that vehicle which was totally unroadworthy. The drive had no idea how to drive the vehicle, it was just an absolute disaster, you know, and for the short time he was in it, and then when it lost control, that was it. It was just one of horrific, absolutely horrific. You know, a vehicle like that, if it had been in a, a farmer's field or something like that, you would have thought that there's a risk, yeah. but a lot less. But the, the, the minute that, that unroadworthy, unlicensed, you name it, ended up on a public road. It's These people themselves don't need to take responsibility. When you get in that car and sit and think, is this car safe? Is the car legal? I had to buy some solvent online the other day to clean my conservatory and I had to prove I was 18. The fact that, from what I can gather, that vehicle was advertised on Facebook Marketplace for yeah. £100. And literally, I hope the person who sold them would live with herself, they literally took £100 in cash and met somebody and just said, there you go, get yourself on the main road. And then 24 hours later, my son was lying in the chapel arrest. Whilst there's good people out there, there was also good people not realising selling their vehicles to bad people. And they become these community cars, these pool cars and stuff. And, and until you can make it where you tighten up legislation, how is it at the moment, instead of making, you know, a phone number, voluntary, email address, voluntary, driving licence number, voluntary, mm -hmm. it will just continue. There'll be an influx of these illegal vehicles coming in circulation. When you looked at that, as you say, the condition of that vehicle prior to the collision, a dreadful condition, absolutely. And the fact that he was able to literally hand over the hundred pound cash, start it up and drive it straight away on the road. I, I have nightmares oh. thinking about that. I mean, how many roads did he drive it on? No idea. Andrew's life was worth more than hundred pounds. He priceless. lost money. He was priceless. Mm -hmm. but we have to live that with that now for the rest of our lives. You know, there's no more for us. There's no more birthdays. No more tomorrows basically there's no more tomorrow talk to your children who were driving because it's not just a matter of paying for the driving lessons putting them through the thing and then don't forget about them once they're on the road because do you know what you've just done whilst you want to help them flourish in life you've just given them potentially the keys to the most dangerous thing they're going to own a motor vehicle mm -hmm. and it's not just them they could be the safest driver on the planet mm -hmm. it's other road users be aware just think about what you're doing when you're out on the road because that split second, like we said earlier, lapse yeah. of concentration can ruin people's lives, and that's fact. Yeah. The, the simplest of mistake, i.e. glancing at your phone for two seconds, could cost you or somebody else's life. A, a car is a dangerous weapon, it really is. And, you know, life is precious and it can be gone in a heartbeat. You know, there's no... You know, people often think, oh, sometimes people are just like, you know, pick on the motors. I'll, I'll lose track of how many times I've heard that here. That's rubbish. At the end of the day, speed limits are there for a reason. Mm -hmm. Safety of vehicles, keeping your car in good condition. Yeah, the, the, absolutely. It, it's a catalyst for everything. Yeah. We're all woke up that day, and that was the day we all, our life, all our life, all our life ended that day. And I don't want to see somebody else in our position.